This chapter will focus on using the common interactivity found in performance dashboards. In particular, we are going to cover drawdown, filtering, grouping, and hover over. Please note that the interactivity that will be available on a dashboard is dependent on the person who created it. Okay, let's start by opening up a dashboard that has all these common interactions on it. Let's start by demonstrating drill down. Typically, drill down is on a data point. When you put your mouse over an area that has this functionality, the hand cursor would appear like so. Now, you would click on the data point to drill down. Notice how we were looking at yearly revenue and expense, and now we've drilled down onto the month level for the year that we selected. Now, let's look at filtering. You can change your view of the dashboard by using the user interface controls found on a dashboard. In our case, we can select a range of time by doing the following. The next type of interaction we're going to show is grouping. It's easiest to explain what grouping is with an example. In our current view of the dashboard, we have revenue and expenses grouped by month. Now, we'd like to see the yearly totals again. By changing the grouping like so, we can do that. Finally, we're going to look at hoverovers. Hoverovers are used to show a preview of a drill down, or, more commonly, to show more information. To use a hoverover, you just have to put your mouse over an area that has it implemented. Typically, it is found on either a data point, or, in our case, it is found on an icon, like so. Notice how the hoverover shows the monthly trend of the business metric. We've just covered the interactions most commonly found in a dashboard. There are other sophisticated interactions that can be implemented on a dashboard, such as showing a help overlay. However, this will get you started in using performance dashboards created with Dundas dashboards. This concludes our tutorial in interacting with performance dashboards.